In this video, we'll be taking a look at 3NBA happening on March 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Celtics vs. Washington Wizards The Boston Celtics traveled to D.C. on Tuesday night to battle the Washington Wizards in an Eastern Conference showdown. The Celtics have started to heat up again and have grabbed a firm grasp on the second seed in the East with five wins in the last six games. The Wizards have fallen back in the playoff hunt and look destined to enter the draft lottery again this season after losing eight of their last ten games. The Boston Celtics have been in great form as they've won seven of their last nine games overall and they will be gunning for a fourth straight victory after making light work of the Spurs in a 137-93 home win on Sunday. Jalen Brown led the team with 41 points, 13 rebounds, and 3 assists. Malcolm Brogdon added 20 points and 9 assists off the bench while Derek White chipped in with 19 points on 7 of 11 shooting. As a team, the Celtics shot a healthy 57% from the field and 18 of 44 from the 3-point line as they took control of the contest with 38 points in the second quarter before they exploded for 41 points in the fourth quarter to make it a complete blowout. Meanwhile, the Washington Wizards have been in a slump as they've lost eight of their last ten games overall and they will be hoping to bounce back after getting beaten by the Raptors in a 114-104 road loss on Sunday. Chris Tapps Porzingis led the team with 26 points on 9 of 17 shooting. Corey Kispert added 19 points while Denny Avdija chipped in with 15 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists. As a team, the Wizards shot 44% from the field and 16 of 36 from the three point line as they got off to a terrible start and had to work hard to reduce a 21 point deficit to just three points before they went cold and scored just 20 points in the fourth quarter to allow the Raptors off the hook in the end. Looking at the betting trends, the Celtics are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven road games, 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games against a team with a losing record, and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. The Wizards are 0-5 against the spread in their last five games against a team with a winning record, and 1-4-1 against the spread in their last six games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 8-3 in the last 11 meetings overall, and the Celtics are 4-0 against the spread in the last four meetings overall. The Celtics are coming into this one with the same lineup, while the Wizards are still missing Bradley Beal and Kyle Kuzma with Monty Morris listed as questionable. The Celtics have quietly been one of the hottest teams in the league. They are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven road games and 4-0 against the spread in the last four meetings overall. I don't want to lay double-digit chalk with the Boston Celtics, as they win but don't do well in these spots. However, the Celtics are smoking teams again lately, and the Wizards are losing their last five games by an average of seven points. The Wizards have pretty much played themselves out of the play-in tournament, and they look like a team that's given up on the season. So the Boston Celtics to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Boston has played under the total in two of the last three games, including two games in which the opposition scored under 100 points. Washington has also gone under the total in two of its last three games as the Wizards struggle to find a fence without two of the team's top three scorers. I expect Boston to control a Wizards team that is just 24th in the league in pace of play. Boston, for its part, is just 18th in pace of play this season as well. Expect the Celtics to dominate a weakened Wizards team and hold them under 100 points. Both of these teams rank in the bottom half in the league in terms of pace, and the Wizards have been playing much slower of late relative to their season average. The Celtics have taken pride in their staunch defense and will look to take advantage of the shot-handed Wizards. Washington also gets to the line as rarely as anyone in the league, but sits top five in opponent free throw rate. Washington has likewise done well to clog passing lanes and stall opposing offenses. With slow pace and neither team feasting in the paint, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Atlanta Hawks 
the Atlanta Hawks jockey for playoff position in the Eastern Conference as they host the Cleveland Cavaliers on Tuesday. The Hawks are 37-38, tied for 8th in the conference, while the Cavs are 48-28, 4th in the conference. These two teams have split two games this season, with both winning at home. The Cavaliers are 7-18 to 1 against the spread in their last 26 Tuesday games and 2-5 against the spread in their last 7 games playing on one day's rest. The Hawks are 2-5 against the spread in their last 7 Tuesday games and 3-7 against the spread in their last 10 games playing on one day's rest. The over is 6-2 in Cavaliers' last 8 overall. The over is 4-1 in Hawks' last 5 home games. The Cavaliers are 0-4 against the spread in the last 4 meetings in Atlanta and 1-4 against the spread in the last 5 meetings. The Cavaliers are shorthanded again as Raul Nito and Dean Wade are out, while the Hawks have ruled out Jalen Johnson once again. The Cavaliers come into this one as the team in better form and also as one of the hottest teams in the league. The Hawks have had their moments this season and they're still relatively healthy, but they've been well below their best lately. You're never sure which team is going to show up with the Atlanta Hawks, so I'd need more points to take them seriously here. The Cleveland Cavaliers have been far more consistent this season, and they win as favorites by an average of 9 points. We're laying less than a bucket. I have to give the Cavs the edge. So the Cleveland Cavaliers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This is a battle between one of the highest scoring offenses in the NBA and the number one defense in the NBA. But as we saw about a month ago when these two met in Atlanta, the Hawks offense shined and dropped 138 points on Cleveland, easily pushing the score past the total. When they met in Cleveland in November, it was a different story as the Cavs held the Hawks to just 102 points in a Cavs win. That game went under. The over is 43 to 33 for the Hawks this season, and the last three meeting against Cleveland and Atlanta have gone over. With a couple days of rest, offense has been a key characteristic for both teams this season. They should be fresh enough to work the ball in transition and fire long triples. Expect a game where Atlanta needs to win so badly that they will be trying to hard to create as many possessions as possible. The over is 5-0 in the Cavaliers' last five games following an against the spread win. The over is 4-1 in the Hawks' last five home games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Heat vs. Toronto Raptors The Miami Heat will be trying to move into fifth place in the Eastern Conference standings when they face the Toronto Raptors on Tuesday night. The Heat are coming off a 129-100 loss to Brooklyn as six-point favorites. The Raptors are coming off a 114-104 win over Washington as 10-point favorites. Miami and Toronto split their last 10 meetings. Looking at the betting trends, the Raptors are 2-5 against the spread in their last seven road games, 8-22-1 against the spread in their last 31 games against a team with a losing record and 7-16 against the spread in their last 23 games overall. The Raptors are 7-1-1 against the spread in their last 9 home games, 5-0 against the spread in their last 5 games against a team with a winning record and 5-1-1 against the spread in their last 7 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 5-1 in the last 6 meetings overall and the Heat are 1-5 against the spread in the last 6 meetings overall. The Raptors are shorthanded again as will Barton is doubtful and Gary Trent Jr. is questionable, while the Heat are keeping an eye on Kyle Lowry who is day-to-day. -day. The Raptors are starting to play some consistent basketball and they've been tough to beat at home where they are 7-1-1 against the spread in their last nine. The Raptors are also 5-1 against the spread in the last six meetings overall. Right when you're ready to believe in the Heat, they let you down. One step forward, two steps back with this team all year. The Toronto Raptors are playing some of their best ball right now, and that includes winning their last five games by an average of seven points. The Raptors win at home by an average of four points. So the Toronto Raptors to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Heat are averaging 109 points per game and 107 and a half points per game on the road. They averaged 102 points per game in their last three games against the Raptors. They play at a slow pace, averaging 100.2 possessions per game, and they're facing a team that is giving up 110 points per game at home. So expect them to hit their average in this game. The Raptors are averaging 113 points per game and 114 points per game at home. They averaged 106 points per game in their last three games against the Heat. They play at a faster pace, averaging 101.4 possessions per game. Even though the Heat are giving up 110 points per game on the road, they gave up 116 points per game in their last three games, so expect the Raptors to score enough points to push the score past the total. The Heat and Raptors played over the total in five of their last six meetings. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.